What is up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday. This is a spot where I get Sensi reviews out to you based on your votes from the previous week. Now, last week we had a really tight race for votes. First and second place were separated by, I believe, one vote. And third place we had a tie, and so I went to Instagram and the tie was broken. We're gonna talk about one new release, one limited time offer, and one scent from the Harvest Collection. So let's get started. All right, let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is Sparkling Spice Citrus. This one is a bright orange colored wax. This one had 23% of the vote. And on cold sniff, I would say it's about a medium intensity and it's a citrus scent in the Harvest Collection. So let's read the scent description since he says, Sparkling Mandarin dazzles among black currant, raw sugar cane, and a dash of clove bud. So this is a sweet scent. They do talk about sugar cane, so I'd say yes, it's sweet. The majority of the scent to me is the orange. It's a bright, uplifting mandarin. It's really, really nice. I think I get a little tiny bit of the current, but maybe, maybe it's because I know it's there because it's in the scent notes. And the thing I get just the tiniest hint of, and I'm not even sure I even get it, is the spice. And it says clove, but I just find there's a, just a gentle nod. <laughs> to fall winter, but it's more almost like a summery spring scent to me. Yes, it's bright, it's juicy, it's uplifting, it's orange, and there might even be a tiny bit of body care. So let's talk about performance for this one. I took two cubes and put it in the kids' bathroom. Strength and throw was between six and six and a half-ish. And I left it going a day. It didn't perform overly well there, but I have struggled with scents there before. The other spot I warmed it was four cubes here in my bedroom bathroom complex and strength of throw was between seven and seven and a half and I left it going a day and then I took all the wax all six cubes and put it in my bathroom and just let it run its course there for the second day and I could smell it that way sometimes I do that you kind of amalgamate all the scents and put it in one warmer now keep in mind you could have a wax in it if you overfill your dish so I think if you like scents like oodles of orange or tropic tango and you could imagine that with a tiny autumnal nod with the spice then you would really want to pick this one up it's not unlike other scents that we've had like rise and sunshine autumn sunrise all those kind of scents but this is a very bright juicy almost juvenile tone to it but very sweet and syrupy so i would say it's supposed to be fall winter but maybe a transition from summer to fall is kind of where this falls into my warming schedule but i would i could warm this any time of year and be okay with it now let's talk about family ratings. My husband gave it eight out of 10, and he said by the color, he knew he was gonna like it. Erica said seven out of 10, which is really good for her. And Ryan gave it 9.8 out of 10 and said, ooh, I really like that one because he loves citrus. So the family liked it, I liked it. Do I need to purchase any more? I don't need to buy any more, but if I saw it in sale or in a clearance, I might pick up one, but I'm okay for now. But it was enjoyable, just not an overly long lasting one. So that is sparkling spice citrus. All right, let's talk about scent number two for the week. It is Maple Peak. This one had just shy of 23%, and it's a Canadian exclusive scent as part of the 15th anniversary with Scentsy. I'd say on cold sniff, it's about a medium intensity. It's in the bakery section, and you can only get it in Canada right now, unfortunately. Perhaps they will bring it to other regions if it's popular enough. So let's read the scent description. It's a long one, and I apologize. I had to close. The window because at seven o'clock the construction starts and I thought I was creeping in right before seven but you might hear some construction noises I'll try to talk loudly it says gather around the campfire for an authentic Canadian outdoor adventure of toasted maple and sweet marshmallow intertwined with wisps of smoked cedarwood so this is a spin-off of toasted marshmallow from Sensi and it's also very similar to Bath and Body Works marshmallow fireside but if you could take those scents and make them a little bit more of a fancy, well done version, I feel like that's what Maple Peak is. I don't even really know if I get maple, but you know when you toast that marshmallow and it gets that brown caramelization right around the edge and that has a distinct smell, that's kind of what this smells like. It's so, so good. And I think if there's maple, it makes me think of like big maple sugar crystals, not maple syrup. It's not cloying and annoying, it's very, like a gentle hue of maple just in the background. It's like you were you were toasting your marshmallows at the maple syrup plant, but, but you're way far away from it. So just something in the air just kind of brings it in a different direction. 
I actually prefer this one by far to toasted marshmallow and I probably like it just as well as marshmallow fireside. So it's a little bit smoky, but it's not so smoky that someone that dislikes smoke, I think you would still tolerate this okay because it's strength wise, it's not overbearing. And I think that it gives you a warm, comforting, cozy feel. So let's talk about performance. This is my customer's bar. I just grabbed it so you could see the color red. I'll put it aside. And I did finish one bar. Now let's talk about family ratings. My husband said that it was nice at seven and a half. Erica said, ooh, at four out of 10. <laughs> she doesn't like these kind of scents. And Ryan said nine out of 10. So I decided to warm it in the boys' room. I put three cubes there. It was about seven and a half to eight at its max. Uh, I left it going almost two full days and I had to turn it off and then I started it again. It was just about three or four out of 10 when I started it up. So it did very well in their bedroom and it had a great kind of steady decline. Like it was prominent and then it kind of declined slowly. You didn't notice a, a big dip. And that was in an enclosed space. So I decided I had five cubes left and I finished the bar. And normally I put six cubes in my open layout, but I thought I'd do five and see how it did. I would say it was maybe six out of 10. And I left it going two days and then sometimes I would go nose blind to it, but especially on the second day when I walked out, cause I just sometimes leave my warmers going now in this new place instead of turning them off at night. And when I walked in, I could still smell it no problem on the second day. Now I found when we went out for a walk later in the afternoon on the second day, I came back, I, I didn't uh, smell it as prominently. So I think if you're someone that you like marshmallow fireside or you like toasted marshmallow and you could imagine a more sophisticated candle company putting out a similar scent, then that's what this is to me. Um, I think that unless less malt and caramel and a little tiny nod to a maple crystal, maple sugar crystal. Uh, this does read fall winter because it is a, a little bit of a smoky deep scent but like I said not so smoky that it blows you out or you think that there's fire it's just a nice little nod to that so I would say it did better in enclosed spaces but it could also do okay in larger spaces but you're not going to get very long out of it the bigger the spaces it's going to disperse and diffuse you could mix this with things but I like it just on its own it's a nice scent and I think I'll probably club it for a while to get more and then I'll, I'll decide what to do with it after some time. If you're given the chance to try this, the other thing that it's great for is it does um, not necessarily mix well with others, but if you had it in adjacent rooms, it's not gonna clash. I think it'll do well with most scents. I really, really liked it more than I thought it would because I'm not a big maple fan, but this was really nice. That is Maple Peak. All right, let's talk about our third place scent for the week. It is White Peach and Cranberry. This one had 16% of the vote, but it was tied with Balsam Spice. And when I went to Instagram, the tiebreaker was broken. So thank you so much if you voted on Instagram. I would say intensity on this is about a medium and it's a new release in the fall winter uh, catalog in the fruity section. And I totally agree. So the scent description says a juicy bite of fresh picked white peach with a tart touch of cranberry. So this is a sweet nectar type of peach. I don't get the cat pee vibe, which I'm thankful for. This, this kind of reminds me of a drink that you might have around New Year's that doesn't really have a bubbliness, but it's just a nice fruity drink and it's garnished with a cranberry because I don't really find you get cranberry, but if it's in there, it's just kind of adding to the experience. So the good thing about this was I didn't get any perfume or weird notes. I just got the fruit, which is nice. And I can't wait to try this with other scents. I can't wait to mix it with a bakery and make like a peach cobbler feel, something like an oats and honey, a crumb top, vanilla bean buttercream, sugar cookie. This will be really good for me in that manner. So actually, before we go and talk about how the performance was on this, uh, let's talk about what my family thought of it. My family really liked this scent, as did I. It might have been my one of my favorite new releases. So my husband said, it smelled a bit like tangerine to him, and he gave it eight and a half out of 10. I'll tell you what Erica said in a second. Ryan said 9.9 .9 out of 10, and he actually thought it would mix really nice with the sparkling spice citrus. And Erica said, oh, I love this one. She said, I don't wanna give it 10 because there's always room for improvement, so I'm gonna give it nine out of 10. <laughs> it's kind of funny because we went on a Scentsy cruise and the people, uh, from Royal Caribbean were coming around asking what we thought of the cruise and my daughter said something was 9 out of 10 and the 
uh, manager said, well, why nine out of 10? How do we get it to 10 out of 10? She said, I don't know if you can because there's always room for improvement. So in my opinion, nine out of 10 for her might actually be a 10 out of 10. So just saying. All right, so what I did was I warmed six out of the eight cubes. I warmed three cubes in the boys' room and three cubes in Erica's room. So in the boys' room at maximum intensity, it was about a seven and a half. And it stayed that way for quite a while. And I remember watching a video from someone else and they thought it wore off fast. But for me, I could smell this very, very well. So I was pleased that I could smell it longer than they could. So I actually went and gave Drew his medicine um, this morning, which is the start of day three, and I could still smell it. It's probably about a four out of 10. And maybe it's because the room is enclosed and maybe it's because I'm walking into the room that that's the case, I don't know. Erica's room, we're at the start of day two and I don't find it as noticeable in her room because I think she has the windows open. Her room, it was about seven out of 10 at its max. So I would say I'll probably change it soon, but uh, yeah, I really like this. I'll definitely be buying more. I think if you're someone that likes peach scents, you'll definitely want to give it a try. If you're nervous about the the cat pee tone maybe ask for a sample this is all year round for me even though it came out in fall winter i i'll melt it in fall winter because you tell me it's fall winter scent but i would say it's a year-round scent to me probably do a little bit better in an enclosed space uh kitchen would be an obvious choice for this one and yes because my family really loved it and i really loved it i would probably buy more and consider it consider clubbing it we'll see how it does over the next few months but yes, I really liked this one. Performance was okay in the spaces I warmed it and scent appeal was nice. So that is white peach and cranberry. All right, let's move to the portion of the video where I'm gonna present to you some scents and you guys are gonna vote. If you're new to my channel, you're gonna pick two different scents by early Wednesday morning, put them down in the YouTube comment section. And if you can't do that, you can vote on Instagram. It's Patricia Gates and put your two votes there. All right, so I'm going to finish the Harvest Collection with the last scent that we haven't warmed and so scent number one will be Peaks and Pines. And the next five scents are gonna be from the Holiday Collection, which launches October 1st. So maybe we'll get to see a few of these scents in advance. So scent number two is Ginger Cookie Crunch. Scent number three is Holiday Market. Scent number four is Bundle Up. Scent number five is Winter Twilight. And scent number six is Frosted Fantasy. I think I might have had them in order that I like them. I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Don't forget to vote, and I'll see you guys in the next video.